How much drunk elephant is too much? So I have a lot of drunk elephant, like a lot. So today we are doing my full in-depth drunk elephant collection. I'm gonna be telling y'all every product that I have and obviously showing y'all. And I'm gonna be saying what it does and if I like it. Cause I'm gonna be honest, some of them I really don't like. Remember, you can always subscribe. The subscribe button is there. So if you wanna support me and you want more fun videos, then definitely subscribe. Y'all should see their giveaway. I'm gonna do it 200K. Without further ado, let's get started. We have the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I personally love this stuff. I actually am out and I like messed up the top because someone was like, take this off and it'll be good. Don't listen to people on TikTok. This is great for oily skin because a lot of moisturizers I feel like make me oily. This stuff does not, but it moisturizes good. And it just really created like a firm like barrier of my skin. It like strengthened it. I don't know how to explain, but this one was definitely worth the money and I also had a lot of fun doing little smoothies with it and I definitely need to refill it. Overall, I would rate this one a nine out of 10 stars because I love it. Next thing, the F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. This one is very hydrating. It will literally hydrate the driest, flakiest of faces. I'm telling you, this will hydrate you. But the one thing I didn't like about it is it came like this, excuse me, it came broken, whatever, I'm not a baby, I'll survive. But it's really hard to get out now because it's just like there's not a lot left and it doesn't have a pump, so that is kind of annoying. It just has a really good moisturizing base and it's not really that oily. And I guess you're supposed to wear it as like a face mask to go to sleep, but I just kind of use it as like an everyday moisturizer. So yeah. Overall, I would rate this one in 8.5 out of 10 because it is great, it just came broken. We have the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This has pineapple ceramide in it, or pro, a lot of random stuff. Well, I didn't know it had pineapple until I literally read it right here. This is another great one for oily skin because it doesn't make my face oily like some of the ones I'm about to show y'all like make my face oily. Like this doesn't do that and it's a really good serum and it's just, I feel like it's pretty basic serum so it won't really make a lot of people break out. That's why I love this. Honestly, I'll give this one a nine out of 10 because it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Next one, I feel like this one is kind of iconic just because the pink color is so pretty. And honestly, I didn't even know what it did until I bought it because I just saw the pink and I was like, this is it. This is the TLC Frambose Glycolic Night Serum. This has raspberry extract in it. Very interesting. Now, one thing about this, I have oily skin. So oily, like even oil like base products for me, I don't really enjoy. This one definitely does make my face feel a little oily. It's not that bad, honestly, but you know, it's definitely a little bit oily and I kind of feel like gross after putting it on. And that could just be me because I have like weird sensory things with that, like I don't know. But it never broke me out, so that is a plus. And I think it worked. I don't really know. I haven't used these products in a minute to be completely honest with you. Overall, I would give it a 6.5. 6.5 out of 10 because it's very cool, it's very cute. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. This is my next culprit. This is the Sea Firma Fresh Day Serum. I low key have beef with the serum just because it is so oily. I'm telling y'all, when I use it, my hands will stay oily and I have to scrub the oil off. If you have this, I think you know what I mean, and it's really liquidy. I mean, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. If you really like those oily products, then this is for you, but I don't like oil, personally. It does look cute on my nightstand, so I do appreciate that. Oh, it does kind of wake up the skin, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't like feeling all oily, and my hands, literally, the crease of my fingers, you can like feel the oil and it stays there. So that's one thing I don't like. I will give this one a four out of 10, just because it really is not for me. Whew. This is kind of tiring, guys. Next thing. This is the Wonder Wild Miracle Butter. I personally like this stuff, but it is not something you use on the daily. It is really something you use on occasions. Like I had a sunburn, my cheeks were so windburnt, and I put it on and it really helped. If you have super dry skin that like needs a remedy, this is that. Now personally, I don't use it that much because I have oily skin and I only use it when I have like a sunburn or like I'm peeling and I need it. But it is good because you can use it on other parts of your body, not just your face, so I do like that. I don't remember this being super expensive, so I'm okay with that. It is Marula Butter and Meadow Foam Oil. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Meadow Foam Oil. That's really weird. But like, 
just because I've never heard of it. I will give it seven out of 10 just because I don't use it that much. Next thing, this is the A Glowy Merit, Merit, Moretinol oil. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but obviously it has retinol in it, but it says Mo Retinol oil. I don't know if that's short or like long for retinol. Me personally, I rarely ever use this because y'all know I have an oily face, but this came in the drunk elephant trunk, so I have it. And I've used it on my cheeks before, and you know, it's another thing, like sometimes if I need it, I'll put it on. You're supposed to use it in like smoothies or like mix with something because it is like so, like it's just like straight up oil. Honestly, for an oil, I actually like it. It's not that greasy of an oil, if that makes sense. And it has retinol in it, so it's really good for your skin. Overall, I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10 because it is oil, but it's good for an oil. <laughs> Next thing, this stuff is the Salai Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. So sorry, I botched like every name. This stuff is a mini, and honestly, I use it quite a bit for mini. It literally will melt your makeup off whenever I need to take these eyelashes off. I use this stuff because it will sincerely melt your makeup off. So that is definitely a plus. It does what it says. It's not super spendy because it is a little mini. So overall, I really like this stuff and it's very fun to use. I'll give it a nine out of 10. Honestly, love this stuff. Next one, this is the TLC Sakari Baby Facial. Now, this stuff is pretty good. It does make my face feel like a baby. So that is literally what it does. It's good on that part. The packaging is really cute and another plus. I feel like a lot of people get drunk elephant because of really cute packaging, I'm not gonna lie. The one thing I don't like about this, it is so expensive. I'm pretty sure it's $80. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's like $80. And it's a face mask. Like it works, but like it's not like, you know, I feel like worth $80 for a face mask that you're gonna use like once a week maybe. Overall, I give her a seven out of 10 because it does what it says, but it's a little bit expensive. This stuff is a mini. It usually comes in a big one and it's green. It is called the Protini Power Peptide Resurf Serum. I actually like this one compared to most of the serums because it is just, it's like a good generic serum and I feel like it's never done my skin dirty and I'm pretty sure it works. You know, you never really know, I don't know. But it's never done my skin dirty. It makes my skin feel good afterwards and it's not super oily. So it's pretty good basis serum that like I feel like anyone could use. It's not for dry skin, it's not for oily skin. You know, anyone can use it. I also like the color because it looks really cute on my little stand. I do actually kind of want to get a big size in this because I use it a lot and it's probably gonna run out soon. Overall, I'll give her an 8.5 out of 10. Next, I have this Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil and it's yellow. And surprisingly, I know I say I don't like oily stuff, but the oils I actually really like. This stuff just makes my face look really shiny. Like when I only put it on my cheeks and not like anywhere oily, it makes my face shine and glow. So I actually love this stuff and it is also mini. It is really tiny. But I feel like with these, you don't need huge sizes anyway. And this came in one of the little mini packs that my mom got and then it, she just gave it to me because I don't know, it's a little face oil. It has a nourish and balance your skin. I would say it definitely does that. Like, I like this a lot, surprisingly. And it is just so cute and tiny. Overall, I would give this one a good eight out of 10. Give it a good eight out of 10. Next, we have this E-Race Milky Micellar Water. I use this stuff a lot, I know it's teeny, and it's really cheap too. I don't know why I got the teeny one because the big one is not even that expensive, but this stuff works really well and it's really good, again, for oily skin. Like this stuff, it takes my makeup off and it doesn't make me feel all like oily and gross. And it's just a good micellar water, pretty basic, you know. I feel like you can get a micellar water anywhere that's good. So that is one thing, cause you, like, you don't need to get the drunk elephant one. It's, it doesn't like stand out, but I still like it a lot. It doesn't look that, honestly doesn't look that cute on my stand, but that is not the point of this video. It's not about how cute they look. I mean, it kind of is though, cause it's a drunk elephant. Like, come on now. But you know, I'll give it a good six out of 10 because I mean, it does what it says, but it's nothing special. Next, I'm gonna be doing the rose drops and the bronze drops, but I left my makeup bag in my friend's house, so I currently don't have them. But I love the rose drops. They're really cute, but I do think they're a little bit expensive because they're just like, I don't know, I feel like you can get something like that anywhere and especially for cheaper. I mean, they do what they say. They do give a good like light natural look, but I feel like you can achieve that in other ways because they don't stay on that long. Like I've used them, they kind of just go away after a while. So I'm gonna give them a good five out of 10. And for the bronze drops, I will give these a four out of 10 just because 
There are so many dupes of them that work a lot better and they're really expensive and they really don't last. They really, I don't know, not the biggest fans of the bronze straps because they're not even that bronze. Like I have some other bronze stuff that I use that works way better. So yes, yeah, I had to say it. I gave them a four out of 10 because they're kind of, they're kind of mid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Well, I guess that's the video. Thank y'all so much for you're watching. If you're this far, that is amazing. And if you're this far and you haven't subscribed, girl, you should like subscribe. Just kidding, you don't have to. Make sure to like this video. Comment down below your favorite product. My favorite product was definitely the first one. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I love each and every one of you. I know you're looking at your screen right now. I love you. I'm like, it's looking through the screen. I love you, okay? Bye.